Dear ladies and gentlemen, we are experiencing challenging times. On the one hand, science, research and international cooperation are severely impacted by restrictions on movement between countries due to the corona crisis. On the other hand, it is exactly in such times of global crisis that science, research and international cooperation become more important than ever. For the German Academic Exchange Service, the DAD, enhancing international collaboration for the benefit of science, industry and society is one of our strategic goals. As international relations become more complex, political decision-making processes increasingly require scientifically sound advice. We believe that strong, long-lasting partnerships create the basis for common answers to global crises such as climate change, species extinction and pandemics. Here, innovation and research collaboration are the engines driving efforts to find solutions to tackle global challenges. This is also why the DAD manages five German centers for research and innovation, DWIH for short, worldwide. The DWIH are powerful institutions for promoting international networking and science exchange. By connecting stakeholders from academia, policymaking and industry, they create the preconditions for research collaboration and facilitate dialogue on focal topics of our times. In 2018, the DWIH Tokyo initiated the first German-Japanese-French symposium on artificial intelligence. Over 60 speakers and 300 participants gathered in Tokyo to discuss common values and promising fields for cooperation. On the last day of the symposium, a joint statement was published spontaneously declaring the participants' desire for intensified trilateral collaboration in the field of artificial intelligence. The preparations for this second symposium started soon after. This second edition was again jointly organized by the DWIH Tokyo and the French Embassy in Japan, with the new AI Japan R&D network also joining as co-organizer. A lot has changed in the two years since the first symposium in 2018. Back then, who would have thought that this symposium would be conducted virtually? That AI would be discussed as a tool to fight a global pandemic? That dystopian scenarios of surveillance could easily become reality if it were not for legal regulations? In times of crisis, Common values, more than anything else, built the fundamentals for international collaboration. In 2018, we saw that we share these common values when it comes to AI, with all agreeing on a human-centered approach. In the second edition, we want to look at what this approach means for concrete fields of application, ranging from environmental topics like agriculture and societal topics like democracy, to technological topics like high-performance computing. We will also extend our focus. The European Union has published the European approach to AI and UNESCO is promoting a humanistic approach. Germany, France and Japan are all founding members of the Global Partnership on AI, a worldwide initiative to promote responsible, human-centered use of artificial intelligence. Discussing what human-centered AI means for the specific fields of application in our three countries will be an important step toward intensifying international collaboration in each specific area. I hope that this symposium will be a forum for vibrant discussions, fruitful networking and inspiring new ideas for all participants.